Hey guys, this is Evie. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how I did these jelly nails with encapsulated flowers. So for this look, I'm using Long Care Pretty Nails Clear Acrylic, these dried flowers, these caviar beads, this pink glitter also from Long Care Pretty Nails, and I'll be using the Long Care Pretty Nails number no. eight Oval Kalinsky brush to apply everything. All right, so I've already um, filed down my previous nail design and also kind of shortened down the length a little bit. So now I'm just building back the um, structure of the nail. Um, so yeah, I did have to file these down pretty thin. So that's, that's why I'm doing this. <laughs> so I'm just using clear to go ahead and build this nail back up to a appropriate thickness. All right, so for the ring fingernail, I'm just going to wet the nail with some monomer just to make the application, you know, a little more smoother. And then I'm going in with the pink glitter and I'm just applying that in kind of a Evie swoop motion, as the hubby would say. <laughs> and I'm just picking up a tiny bit of clear and dipping that into the glitter. And that is how I'm putting that on the nail. And I just do the same thing um, on the other side. So I'm using some nail glue and I'm just going to apply a little bit of that and then place a dried flower where the glue is. And I use the back of my acrylic brush to just hold that down. You want to make sure that all of the petals are flat um, because you want this flower to be as flat as possible. So when you cap it, everything is just good and flat, you know. So next I'm taking a little bit of acrylic and applying these caviar beads. Um, just to give it a little bit of, you know, extra accent. And I decided to add a little bit more of the pink glitter towards the tip and just kind of, you know, make that nice and swoopy. <laughs> Moving on to the index fingernail, I'm just going to repeat the same thing I did as far as applying the flowers, the glitter, and the caviar beads. Alright, so after that, I'm just going to let these flower nails dry and I'm going to move on to my middle finger and just build this nail up with the clear as well. All right, so now I'm going to encapsulate the flower nails and I just wet the nail again with some monomer just to ensure that I don't have any dry spots or you know bubbles or anything like that. And I go ahead and encapsulate this nail with a clear acrylic.
All right, so this is after the nails have set and dried and now I'm going in with my shaping and filing. All right, so this is after the nails have been filed, shaped, and buffed. And now I'm going in with this Nails Ink Nail Polish, and this is the color. It's 12 p.m. somewhere. And I just apply one coat, and one coat of this polish gives the perfect jelly effect. And this is not a gel polish. This is a regular nail polish. So I do apply this and I wait about 30 minutes to just ensure that it is completely dry. So after the nails are completely dry, I'm gonna go in with the Poochie's Nails Gel Top Coat. And I'm just going to apply these to all of the nails. And we all know when that Poochie's hits the nails, especially the encapsulated nails, they just come to life. The flowers look amazing. I am so happy about how these nails came out. And I also applied the gel top coat underneath the nail as well. All right, so after curing in my LED lamp for 60 seconds and allow my nails to cool off, I apply cuticle oil. And this is the finished look, a very fun summery, encapsulated flowery nail <laughs> and I also love the little accents of the jelly nails even though I didn't really do much but just do a coat of polish you know but I really hope you guys enjoyed this nail tutorial head over to longcareprettynails.com check out the shop thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe share and I will talk to you guys in the next one